Good morning, Dave with Organic Gardening in North Carolina. It's a beautiful day today. It is the 17th of April, so I thought I'd do a garden tour. Uh, we had a lot of rain, and uh, this is a, a beautiful day to take pictures because it's so overcast, so there won't be shadows from the sun. So let's get started. All right, here's the bottom of the garden, and has some blackberry plants which are starting to bud. And I put in some sugar peas, snow peas. Actually, someone gave me some seeds, so I put them all throughout the garden because even if they don't produce, they'll be good for the soil. All right. Here's my raised bed that, of course, doesn't have the plastic one anymore. There's some Swiss chard. My spinach is growing like crazy, starting to go to seed, as you can see there. Uh, let's see, there's some more sugar peas down here. More spinach. Wow, that really shows that bright green on the camera. There's some kale that's going to seed. Some arugula going to seed. And I have a lot of things mixed in there. Let me get to the other side. These are onions that I got from Ray. I'm not sure if those were Tokyo onions that he did two years ago in his seed giveaway. Um, maybe someone can tell me if, they, if you think those are Tokyo onions. They may be because they look like they're sort of bunching at the bottom there. I did put some seeds in here. I put a row in here. Um, trying to remember what I planted in here. Well, I guess I'll remember when it comes up. Or if I think about it, remember it in the middle of the tour I will uh, let you know oh uh, here's some mint tea it's like a spearmint uh, I don't know if I've ever shown that before but of course it's taken over this whole area I've got raspberries growing here which will be fruiting soon there's some blossoms Okay, some more onions. Those I think I planted from the, uh, the little bulbs. Here's a bed that had kale in it, which I pulled most of it out because it was starting to go to seed. Oh, here's my asparagus. which I've been eating from. I love to eat it raw. If anyone knows what this herb is, I'm sort of interested. Someone gave it to me years ago and I can't remember what it was called. Hey, here's Swiss chard that is growing from an old stump. It's gotta be more than a year old and cilantro I have cilantro popping up everywhere through my garden this is parsley which is probably a year old it's a lettuce patch let's see nothing new here I did harvest my artichokes and there are the uh, new ones coming up for this year. I planted five or six artichokes and I got a whole grocery bag full of artichokes which I replanted on our property 
and uh, so we're gonna get a lot of artichokes next year I'm sure but these artichokes were planted over here and you can see they're starting to come up even far away from where they were planted and I actually dug up some that were real far away and ate the bulb on the bottom of them and they were still good I planted popcorn over here in front I planted a couple little rows there's another row of onions that is I believe turnip greens that are flowering going to seed over here is the garlic which got a nice little patch of garlic some more onions That is my mind just went blank on what that is. <laughs> Maybe I should have woke up before I took this uh, video. Horseradish. I'm sorry. That is horseradish. And I haven't. I didn't harvest any this year. I'm just letting it grow. I planted Good King Henry down here, but I haven't seen any pop up unless that little plant right there is Good King Henry. Maybe someone can tell me if they think that is Good King Henry. Because I planted it a while ago and I haven't seen any come up. Uh, here is. I don't know how you pronounce it, but diaconine or the the big radishes. I planted a row here that I'm thinking about using for uh, greens for the rabbits. I'm sure they would love it. Uh, some more peas. There's a this is a really old kale plant that's still producing. I'm still eating these flower, these leaves, even though it is seeding. They got pretty uh, seed pods, or pretty flower pods. Let's see. There's some strawberries, which are starting to bloom. Actually, they're starting to do more than bloom. They're starting to have strawberries on them so it won't be long before they're ripe here's my brussels sprouts that I planted way too late last year so didn't get any from didn't get any brussels sprouts from them they're starting to go to seed another picture of the strawberries has some kale coming up here and one more thing I wanted to show you is the comfrey which I planted this spring get down here and show you the biggest there's comfrey starting to sprout there's another one. So, it's starting to do pretty well. And one last thing is the, the kale bed where I said I had thinned it out. I thinned it out because I had planted some more. So there's more kale coming up in there. 
And one more last thing. I will show you my worm bin. <laughs> Look at all those worms. Oh my goodness. They are really loving that garbage. All right, well, that was a tour. Stuff's really growing, and the rain we had this week's really making things take off. So thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.